Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stars. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, as I'm doing my Married to Medicine content, which I will be posting tomorrow, I thought I'd come on here and discuss the hot topics currently regarding Married to Medicine, and that is Heavenly Sweet Tea and the whole debacle with Dr. G and Quad. And truth be told, I'm honestly not surprised that a lot of the story is is surrounding sweet tea but I don't want her to get beside herself because obviously this is interesting that's why we watch it but let's get into it you guys don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload first and foremost I really like heavenly you guys already know that heavenly isn't always right granted nobody is nobody's perfect but at the end of the day she is always saying the things that we be wanting to say or some people want to say but don't really want to say at the end of the day she's not going to straddle the fence and I like that about heavenly I don't necessarily dislike sweet tea but she is thirsty and she is country and she is cheap but that's just my opinion opinion i do believe her and dr g's relationship is perfect that they both deserve each other because they both are looking for something and the both of them are able to provide that thing what they are looking for allegedly because apparently according to heavenly sweet tea can't have children because she has fibroids allegedly and if that is true I think that is a big no-no for Heavenly to be on social media or anywhere speaking about somebody else's medical issues. I think that's absolutely fraudulent, Heavenly. That's wrong. But we know Heavenly don't care. And I do feel like there maybe have been something behind the scenes that happened or took place with Sweet Tea and Heavenly because now we see Sweet Tea going live and she refused to address Heavenly with the name. She refused to acknowledge her and she is clearly throwing shade towards heavenly so when it comes to the situation with sweet tea and, he and heavenly i you know i agree and disagree on both sides honestly because the way heavenly put it heavenly put it as if sweet tea basically is acting as if she wants to be a victim now even though she's the one that started the whole shade fiasco and i absolutely agree i feel like if sweet tea would have just came on and been herself and had nothing to do involving shading quad everything would have been a breeze we would have been completely completely interested in getting to know her and where her and Greg's relationship is. However, we all caught the shade when she was showcasing Quad's old house and we ca we caught the shade throughout just her being on the show. But one thing that I didn't catch and y'all get in the comments and let me know, but I never caught the live where she was on Heavenly's live and she told Quad to keep her and her husband's name out of her mouth. But that's what Heavenly said that the woman sweets he did and I'm going to go with if that is the case then I would have to agree and say she started it so all's fair in love and war or all's fair in t reality TV war, however you want to put it. Sweet Tea had to know that if you were coming on Married to Medicine, a show where your husband's ex-wife and him used to star on, I mean, you had to know that there was going to be some comparisons, there were going to be some conversation pieces regarding his ex-wife in comparison to you. So I agree, like for her to be acting like a victim eh, it's a bit unnecessary and uncalled for because if you truly are the woman that you have shown us on tv thus far then I would have to say that you be throwing shade and you shady. Regardless, that doesn't excuse Heavenly putting out her medical information because that is a tough, tricky subject. That woman obviously wants kids, not just for herself, but because that is the contractual agreement amongst her and Dr. G. And I don't care what anybody say, her and Dr. G, G have a contract understanding. She wants money or copper or pennies. He wants a 
a baby. That's the trait. That's what they have the understanding on. They're both nerds. They're both perfect for each other. They're both quirky and just weird and look weird and look odd. And I think they're perfect for each other. They even complement one another. But at the end of the day, what I'm seeing from Dr. G is the same things that Quad was dealing with. But again, when you're dealing with somebody that wants copper, there are things that they're willing to put up with that other people that dig for gold aren't necessarily willing to put up with. And that's no shade. I'm only saying that because Heavenly said that Sweet Tea was digging for copper and Quad was an actual gold digger. And just based on how I see them, I do agree. And let's be honest, who really wants to be involved with the men that don't have any gold? So I'm not necessarily judging Quad for that. I'm just using the terms that Heavenly used because y'all know how I'm living. Like I would never tell y'all to be with anybody that can't afford to take care of y'all and I would obviously tell anybody not to take my advice but my advice to anybody is to leave any man if he go broke so it's clear sweet tea and heavenly are no longer friends sweet tea said that toya brought her on the show heavenly seems to be under the impression that Toya wanted Sweet Tea to come on the show to go against Quad, seeing as though her and Quad don't have the best relationship. And I kind of almost agree, considering the shade that Sweet Tea was throwing toward Quad off GP, off Jump, and considering the conversation piece that Toya brought up at Sweet Tea's engagement party. Regardless, I like Sweet Tea. I want to get to know more about her. I want to see her on the TV screen. She is thirsty though. She is a country bumpkin and I think she should live in her truth. If that is what people's opinions of, of her is, you cannot stop people from feeling that way or thinking that about you. The best thing that you can do is to just be yourself and build your fan base based on that. Because I do feel like Sweet Tea can be maybe a sweet person. But again, she may be one of those women that like to weaponize her incompetence because like Heavenly said, she likes to throw rocks and hide her hand. And Heavenly didn't quite say it like that, but already those are the vibes that I'm getting because again, how are you going to come on the show throwing shade? How are you going to come on a show, another woman's show, and throw shade at that woman living in her old home that you never even remodeled? See, it'll be different if she really bossed up. Like if she was like fine and I'm not trying to say she ugly, but I am going to say she do look older than the other women. There is a certain level of beauty that women that grew up in Toya's age range, they, wh whoever, the women that grew up in that era, I don't know what it is. Okay. I don't know what it is. And sweet tea, look, I... I don't know. I don't I don't look like you, but I will say, okay? The women of that era are absolutely killing the game still to this day. And I'm talking about the Toyas on Married to Medicine. I'm talking about Toya, like Regina Mama. I'm talking about Monica. I'm talking about what's the other one name? Rashida. It's so many women. And can we talk about Chili? Like can we talk about Drea? It's a lot of women right now that grew up in that era. They literally like in their 40s now, still looking like they 25 years damn old. So, sweet tea, when you want to come on the na on national platform and speak about these women's age, I definitely feel like you should make sure they don't look younger than you because, unfortunately, that's the facts. And I don't feel like it's anything that we doing, Right. It's something in the water that we drinking that they weren't drinking at the time when they was 25. <laughs> All I'm saying is, again, the women of that era are just drop dead gorgeous. They just have this timeless beauty about themselves. And obviously not all of them, but a fat majority of them. And that's just my opinion. So yeah, Sweet Tea did get up here trying to shame them for their age. And you absolutely can't do that looking the way that you look. Because she really don't look younger than Toya. She really, I wouldn't, when I look at her, I wouldn't say she is 30. So let's just leave it at that. And I'm going based on the way black women age. In my opinion, she would be a, a woman that is in her 40s. <laughs> because, I mean, look at Toya. Toya is actually in her 40s and she looks like she's like 20 something. 
I don't know. Anyways, y'all check out these clips. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about all of this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. T fits with this group? Absolutely not. However, Sweet T will benefit from this group. And what Sweet T is, is in this group, and we see and we get this country bunking together, she's not going to want Dr. G anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like, y'all got this girl. Okay, she say she's 31, 32 now. She look older than Toya, in my opinion, Toya. You know what I'm saying? Toya is gorgeous. Toya is 47. And this girl look, they look the same. This girl is country. She's old. You know what I mean? Just, she just gives like her great grandmama raised her, right? I.e. she marries a man that's 23 years her senior, right? And then she brings it up like, to me, I think she's thirsty in, in the way I'm saying thirsty. But the interesting thing is she putting stuff out there only to dig her own grave. And I feel sorry for her. Okay. And what would you say about the girl saying she was there for the money? She said, this look good. This look good. Well, well, first of all, was that her accent? Yes. Oh, no. She's a country bumpkin. That's who she is. Nah, I ain't taking nothing away from her. How country is she? Does she would? Because, you know, is she wearing, like, fishnet stockings? Does she wear a slip? Like, what? Yeah, all of, that, all of that. And the thing about it is Phaedra's hilarious. If Phaedra compliments you on your outfit, you need to go home and change. You need to go home and change. Because she always, girl, look at you. Ooh, girl, you got that nasty wrap dress, and it looks a mess. And, it, and you know, I'm not talking about the girl because, she, you know, she going to retaliate. But her body looked like a 67-year-old. You see what I'm saying? Like, she, like, quiet got body. Toya got body. Everybody got her body. Look, I'm not body shaming. I'm just saying that Phaedra is need to be ashamed of her damn self for the shit she do. The reason I invited Sweet Tea to get on the show is because when I met her, I thought, honestly, I'm just be honest with you, Carlos. You get it out of me. I thought, listen, this girl gonna be hilarious because if she come up against Quad, Quad finna eat this bitch alive. You know what I'm saying? Like. I couldn't believe and she talked shit. She talked about quad. Oh yes. She did a whole vlog about how she had to get the demons out of her house after quad left. And that's why I posted quad's house. Like, bitch, you do not know who you with. You don't know. Like, sweetie, slow down. Learn the way. Quad ain't what you want in this. No, ma'am. It's not what you want or what you need. So I don't know how strong she is because when I see her. She seems like this sensitive little girl, like that's ready to cry. And I'm thinking like, girl, you started all this shit. You talking cash shit. And then you come back to me heavenly. I feel, I feel betrayed by you. I thought you were my friend. And I, you know, I'm for the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm for the streets and y'all know this. Like however, at the end of the day, I'm team quad. I said it and I'm going to continue to say it. I'm team quad. But Toya takes her under her wing to come at quad. Sweet T, I'm going to tell you here and now, and I know you watch all my shit. Leave Quad alone. Play with me. I'm not going to go there with you. Leave Quad alone. She's not what you want or what you need. She's not. Leave alone. Now, you done said enough about her. You done told her to keep your, her, your man name out her fucking mouth on my life. You done said, you know, you got to get the demons out your house and you can try to replay that or whatever. You know that was shade to Quad. That's why I posted Quad's house. Leave Quad alone. Fuck with me. Play with me. Believe quite alone. I'm raining outside. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Just say hello. Check in on everybody. Did you guys enjoy the episode? Hi. Hi, hi everybody. Hey, Kanisha. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm just checking in on everybody. Just checking in how y'all weekend has been going and did you guys enjoy Sunday night's episode? Mm, yep, yep. What did you think? Did y'all like what y'all saw? It was definitely a, a rough episode for me because I definitely was like, had it with them no i did not <laughs> so no i did not know my tag was on my skirt actually it was a two-piece from express so i did not know 
Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. So yeah, I had a two-piece from Express. It was like a skirt and a top. And if you look on my Instagram, I actually wore it again. But no, I had no intention. It happens. I was very stressed out. As you saw, the wedding dressing, like that was, you know, I was laughing and all, but also I felt stuck away because that's an intimate moment. It's an intimate moment when you're trying to wedding dresses. Yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah. You know, and it was, you know, it wasn't the easiest to deal with because when you're trying to wedding dresses, you are, you know, it's just very sacred to you. It's very sacred and you want to share that moment with someone that's special and being new here in Atlanta, you know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, you know, especially if you don't have a lot of friends and stuff. When you work from home, you don't meet a lot of people. No, actually, my friend laid out my clothes for me. It was a rough day that day. She laid out my clothes and she made sure everything was together. I had some purple shoes on and child. She, they, she didn't see the tag on it. I didn't see the tag. Went to the bathroom and it came out. Yeah, so that's how that happened. Yeah, they, you know, they just doing them, I guess. You know, some people just act different when cameras turn on. Um... Yeah, there's some people on the while I'm on this live, there's some people that don't even deserve me to mention their name. Okay. Don't even deserve it. I'm a Gemini. What do you do for work? I'm a program coordinator. I work for um private entity for the government. And I'm a veteran. And don't let them change it. It wasn't that big of a deal, I don't think. It's really not that big. It happens. Am I, um okay, can y'all hear me? Okay, I saw somebody wrote, why did I decide to film? Because it was explained to me that it was going to be a good opportunity. I thought it could open doors for my family, you know, anybody that would like to make a brand and market themselves, anything they like to sell. Like, it's just, you know, one of a lifetime opportunity. And I was on the fence, but I was actually convinced by two of my castmates, one more than the other. So, um, you know, keep on stirring up. Of course, you got to keep the pot stirred up, but some people just go too far and I'm not even going to give them the relevancy because that's what they're looking for. That's exactly what they're looking for, and they're just not going to get it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, oh, big deal. The tags were showing, right? It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we laughed it off. Um, yeah, I'm very down to earth. Yeah, you know, people going to be messy. How y'all doing? One veteran to the next girl. You already know how you have to hand it, have your handle. I love you and your character. Thank you. My character, whoever I am, whoever I'm in on, like, if I'm being me off camera, I'm going to be me on camera. Always always i'm not really sure but toya it's 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 sisterly you know <laughs> we fuss and fight at each other too at times but it is very sisterly she's like a big sister and we don't always agree on things i watched her watch what happened like she said some good things some things she called me as soon as, as soon as i watched it like girl what did you think I'm like girl you over here talking about it's a sugar baby group come on now this is I, now i know i said it wasn't a sugar baby group. it's a support group for women that date older men People don't really understand and they don't understand your relationship. This is not sugar baby, sugar daddy. That's why all the, after all the backlash on the media, that's why like we have age gap groups, support groups, because of stuff like that. People make assumptions thinking that you're a sugar baby because of the age difference. That's exactly why, why it, ex it exists. Hey, babe, I'm on live. <laughs> you are? Yeah, you want to come over here? I want to explain them about the age gap relationship groups. Okay. Um, What happened? That was such a big deal. I didn't see anything bad. I guess they were just talking about the tags and stuff. I'm like, say hi. Hello. Praying for your mental health. I know all this can be draining. It can be, but we good. We good over here. I got the support right here. Um, which casual surprised you the most? Surprised me with what? Like their behaviors? Uh, Y'all, nah, is that what you're asking? I don't know what she's asking. It probably is. Um the the lady that i'll speak about um baby you want to go say hi i said hi baby you ain't gonna say nothing to the hi, everybody <laughs> we hope you're enjoying the show you know we decided to share our lives a little bit and uh we hope it's entertaining and maybe Sorry. we hope it's entertaining and maybe for some people helpful uh we love all you guys i don't know why like my service just be bad let me just need to come over here does the show calm down regarding me um that's a good question. Does the show calm down? No. <laughs> they don't. They won't, don't want to calm it down. They keep trying to bring me up. Shoot, they ain't trying to calm it down. Everybody want to jump on the on the teacher train. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> I'm going to keep smiling. Come to Houston. Let's turn up. Hey, I love Houston. I got family in Houston. We need to, uh, I can give you what you need shirts. <laughs> I know I should come up with these t-shirts, y'all. I'm thinking about doing like something with endometriosis, no more, you know. <laughs> Endo no mo. Talk about endo belly. Um, why do you try on dresses with them? Because I had no choice. It's still entertainment. 
<laughs> I did do a dress painting with my uh, mom and all that. My mom and my aunt. And um, was able to do that real quick. Because I had to hurry up order the dresses. So, okay. How Dr. G Hanley singing here and about the show? Dr. G is doing fine. You know, he's doing he's doing fine. He's enjoying watching the show. He likes it. He, he really enjoyed the scene with him and Phaedra. He loved that scene. Bitter people try to try to bitter others. Don't let them get over on you. Of course not. Yeah, I'm not in character. I'm real. You're genuine. Yep. That's all I can be. Okay. You follow a girl named Chanel. She's a sugar baby. I don't. I don't follow her. Hold on one second. He's not even going to put eyelashes on me. How do you get along with your cousin? Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, where's your daddy at? Hey, babe! Hey, baby! Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> How was your day? It was good. Mm -hmm. Getting better than that? Yeah, it was good though. What you been cooking? I made chicken adobo. Chicken adobo? Yes! Ah, that's your yeah. yeah, what's your favorite yeah. dish? You know what I like. The greens. The greens. Green. You cook greens. Like a 65 year old woman <laughs> from 1965. That's how good your brains are. Let me put your food. Go over there. I got some wine glasses over there. I work from home as a program coordinator for the federal government and I love my job. I can take care of family, life, and it's not even stressful. And I thank God for that. I serve my man on real plates. You know, I have a great man and he relies on me. He loves my cooking. That's what I love to do. And, you know, I'm blessed. I can't say it enough. Like, go after it, whatever you believe in, and get it. So we need to catch up on this wedding plan. Yeah, all the hard work I've been doing with this wedding. Shoot, I'm paying you ain't been doing nothing, you just I'm paying, paying for it. everything. What do you mean just paying for it? My money is also going into the wedding. Yeah, but how much am I paying for really, percentage-wise? I would say 90%, but how much are you involved in planning the process? I mean, I've paid for the reception, I've paid for the wedding, I've paid for the food. I mean, I don't know much how hard I can go. Funding the wedding played more to my strengths and planning the wedding played more to her strengths. But I want you to realize that I have, I'm, I'm doing a lot with the wedding planning. I'm overwhelmed. You know the color scheme? You got a bubble gum. But you can get your guest list together, right? You should. You get, hey. What was that other color you gave me? Blush. What the hell is blush? I don't need to get involved with blush. This wedding was not supposed to be stressful. No, it wasn't. It was but not supposed to be stressful. We did, we did everything on time. We did everything up front. I got all that stuff going early. How did this wedding become stressful? I'm sorry, but I ain't supposed to be here and about this wedding. Well, I mean, you gonna, gonna hear this. You gonna hear this. Be more active. I don't know why I should be. We have a less than a month to plan, and I still gotta get my dress. I got also gotta make sure that Gregory's on top of his thing as well on the, the guest list. And did you talk to the groomsmen and make sure they had everything? I'm gonna turn to the bride little seriously. I mean, if it's not, you gonna see a different side of me. I don't even think that way. It's so much on my plate. I just need you to start doing something. Take something off. Take something off my hands. I want everything to be perfect. The most important thing is the actual wedding. Yep. Well, I love you, baby. I love you too. Now, I have some cake. Mm -hmm. Here, do some cake tasting for the wedding. Now that I can do. I can help you out with this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I pull up Roto Window County. I pull up Roto Window County. Yeah. yeah, I pull up Roto Window County.